Ramos, and I'm going to introduce my artifact before I get to this. This is a work shirt, so that's why it's beat up, right? Deal with it. Uh, I used to work at Esslinger Engineering, and I actually built this motor that's on the back of the shirt. They designed the shirt after it, framed the picture, and it ended up in a museum in Indiana, Indianapolis, which is like the biggest race town in the United States, basically. Like, the street lights are checkered. It's, it's the whole nine yards. So, here I go. Uh, my name is Robert Ramos, and I'm going to explain and share how my first job led me into adulthood and subsequently here at Fullerton College. Uh, when I was 17 and a half years old, I graduated college. I graduated college. I graduated high school, sorry, uh, Glenn A. Wilson, and I went to Rio Hondo, and I decided to go for my automotive science degree. So six months into my automotive science degree, I get a call from a guy named Casey, and my teacher had put me through to him for a job. I didn't have a job, my parents were supporting me. Um, I started to work there, and eventually I was sweeping floors, mopping, cleaning parts, just doing the little scrub work that nobody really cared for, even though I had already been six months into my degree. So finally they started to trust me, I started to do cylinder head machinist work, so that's, I don't know if anyone knows what that is, bear with me. Um, it has a lot to do with measurements and stuff. It's very specific for racing. In racing you have certain classes, everything has to be to the T or else it's illegal, you can't race. And then from there, I started building motors in the engine room after about eight months doing that. And finally, I ended in CNC. So designing and building parts through big machines that cut metal so all the little pieces on your cell phone are from CNC. They start as a solid piece of billet aluminum and a machine machines them, and that's what I did. Um, eventually, I quit that job. Uh, my supervisor was kind of harassing me, and I decided it was my time to move on. I left that job um, with a lot of knowledge. I learned what it was like to almost run a business considering I moved up so fast there. Um, I learned how to be an adult. It really made me into something that I never thought I could be at such a young age. I was 18 and a half years old with more responsi- I was working like 49 hours a week. More responsibility than I had ever imagined. Um, once I worked for somebody, that was my first job, I realized I didn't want to work for anybody, ever. Even though you have to, even when you own your own business, your customer is your boss, regardless. I decided I wanted to go to school for business, so I finished my automotive science degree at Rio Hondo, and I decided to come to Fullerton College so I could get my business degree. Well, transfer to Cal State Fullerton to get my business degree. And so through all of this, it just really, really, really molded me into the adult I am. I'm 21 years old today. Um, I never thought I would accomplish the things I've accomplished. I've worked in aerospace. I worked there for nine months at Amro Fabricating. I was certified for aerospace. I quit that job, and now I'm in the air conditioning business for uh, medical marijuana. For anybody who works at a dispensary or a grow, that's what I do now. So, um, but yeah, again, just full circle. Uh, coming to Fullerton College really changed my life. Um, met my girlfriend here. Um, even didn't meet her here, but we like linked up together here. She's been my neighbor for like ever. Just kind of didn't know it. It's really weird. Um, but yeah, that's it.